Hey folks, Chris Van Viver here from whylogicprorules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. You know, today I wanted to try something a little different from all my other videos. Every week we hone in on one specific element of Logic. We've covered everything from drummer to EQ to importing files into a new project to not clipping the different audio files in your projects. And usually, you know, I kind of rattle off for about 10 minutes, try to keep it short for you. But today I want to do the opposite. I just want to create a riff on the fly and just see what we can come up with using all the different tools and elements in Logic. We'll start by picking a drummer track and we'll just kind of roll from there. So wherever inspiration takes us. So if you're new to Logic, this could open up a lot of possibilities and really show you how much power you have at your fingertips. If you're not new to Logic, maybe this will spawn new ideas for your own projects. And if you're kind of looking from afar from a different DAW, who knows, maybe this will inspire you to try out Logic. I'm not going to talk very much. We're just going to pop open our drummer track here, and I'm going to pick a style of music that I am not very familiar with. We'll go with uh, electronic. I definitely don't know much about that, so I can't guarantee if this riff is going to be amazing, but we'll just roll with it. Okay, I'll also include the key commands in this video so you can kind of see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Okay, so now we got to open the library, and we'll just see what happens here. Okay, I'll go with Leah here. Here we go. Okay. Okay, that sounds pretty good to me. Let's see what we can do here with the kick. Okay, I can see there's another kick there, so I'm going to copy this, go down to kick two, and we'll just paste it. Let's see.
right, so I'm gonna add a base loop. We're gonna dig into the loop library here. I'm gonna look for a synth bass, and we'll just play along and see what sounds good to us. Okay, that sounds good to me. Let's see what we can do with that. Okay, we'll use flex time. that. Well, let's get this out of here. That second one isn't as punchy as I want it to be. So let's just do that and go over here. Okay, we're going to see how this goes for me. I'm going to transpose it. Let's see what happens. Seems a little messed up, but I think I kind of like it. Let's bring this up. Now I'm going to find some symbol loops. So let's get this out of here. Let's look up. I'm going to try to build into the base part here. So let's find some weird symbol stuff. Okay, I'll run with that. So let's do this. like that. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, let's see what happens here. That's kind of cool. All right, 
maybe. Cool, I like that. So let's bring this back and duplicate. Bring this down. Okay, get rid of you again. Cool. All right, now let's open fat effects here. Yeah, I'll try not to drive us crazy, but I'm gonna loop this section here so I can hear what's going on. Okay, that sounds kind of cool. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, the last piece I'm feeling is we just need a lead of some sort. So let's bring in a software instrument. Let's open the library and let's just go with, I guess, arpeggiator. Let's see what this sounds like. That could be cool. Let's see here. Let's loop this. Okay, I got something. So let's start it from nine here. Okay, I like that. Probably a little sloppy, but just do that, I guess. Keep messing with that. I'm going to introduce pedal board again. See what I can do here. Okay, the only other thing I could imagine is we need to add some compression on the stack here, a bass for that kick drum. So close bass. I think we'll be done after this. So let's see here.
Okay, let's hear this riff. Again, we just flew by the seat of our pants. I hope you think it's okay. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. It took only about, you know, 10, 12 minutes. And I just try to run with inspiration. And I just try to run with ideas that I don't think are necessarily in my videos a lot. So I pulled up pedal board. You know, I did some reversing, automating, you know, just riding the wave. So again, if you're new to Logic, I hope that this video has demonstrated how much power is at your fingertips. And it doesn't take very much to start writing. If you're not new to Logic, I hope this video has just gave you some ideas of what you can do in your own projects to, you know, just get the creative juices flowing. As always, if this video helped you, I highly suggest subscribing to the YouTube channel, Why Logic Pro Rules, or subscribing on the website itself, whylogicprorules.com. Every week I'm posting new videos, new emails, new posts to help you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Thanks so much.